All right, so I just got back from watching Godzilla X Kong The New Empire just a week after we got Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. So now we have in theaters two movies with a colon empire type title. So, uh, but no one's going to call these movies by their titles. It's just Ghostbusters and Godzilla X Kong. So there's that. Um, my relationship, I guess, with these movies is I think on a whole, they're fine. Um, I, like most people, most most males anyway, uh, like seeing big monsters fight. Who doesn't? Um, and that's what this movie has. Uh, that's what this movie is about, is just watching big things punch each other, shoot lasers at each other. And if that's what you want, that's what you're gonna get. Um, so this movie, there's no way this movie will disappoint you in any... Uh, way if that's what you're looking for we are moving past the days of the 2014 godzilla where people complain there was enough godzilla in godzilla no one's going to be complaining about that type of stuff anymore um i do say though as much as i enjoyed the fights and they are enjoyable and they are as creative as can be um i do kind of miss the sense of awe and wonder that we got from that first Godzilla movie. And even even uh, Kong Skull Island had that as well. Like that first time the guys in the heli- everyone in the helicopters saw Kong. And they were just in shock at that this thing that is so big could exist. That's That happens a lot in the first Godzilla movie. It happens a bit in Kong Skull Island. And obviously you can't keep that sense of awe uh, as you keep going. So I don't really blame the movie for it. Uh, this sense of wonder being lost um, but we've seen enough of these movies at this point where it seems a bit normal now to see Godzilla walking amongst the city or you know Kong picking up a huge boulder and throwing it at something it seems a bit ordinary now so they have to keep upping the stakes with these new monsters and new things and new environments and stuff like that and for the most part they do a pretty good job of it Um, the human characters are there. Um, there's a couple that are from the last movie that have carried over here. Not everybody. Um, but again, the human characters are a bit of an afterthought. Uh, they're here mainly because they have to be. And, uh, they're not annoying is the best that I can say about them. But you're not really too emotionally attached to any one of them. They're just kind of here to explain the plot to the audience so you understand what's going on, why this is so important. And, uh, there's even an exposition room that people go into where they learn the plot, learn all the backstories, and know what's going to happen. Um, there's, there's a freaking prophecy in this movie and they don't really explain anything why this prophecy exists or how it works it just does and you're not supposed to question it um it's not that kind of movie uh for better and worse um so the humans are here they're not as annoying as they have been uh but they're not as engaging as they have been either i think the the best humans the best the humans have ever been was in kong school island in my opinion uh they had the most interaction uh, that was plot focused and it was most entertaining, most well written in that movie. Here, there's a couple good jokes, um, but beyond that, there's not much here or there. Um, well, I will say though, the relationship that I did enjoy the most was Kong and this little baby Kong that you see in the trailers. When I saw this little thing in the trailers, I was like, oh boy, here we go. Another minion. <laughs> and it is kind of like that, but they it's more interesting than I thought it was going to be. They they take it in a way that I was su- pleasantly surprised by. And I found myself actually invested in uh, um, their relationship. And I think the rest of uh, the audience was as well. Because, without any spoilers, but once this little Kong does something near the end of the movie, uh, I heard a bunch of people like kind of shout for joy or ex- ex- or exclaim... A wonderment, if you will. So I could tell that this little guy had won over the hearts of the rest of the audience as well. So props to the writers for being able to figure that out. Um, I will say one small criticism of the whole monster part of the movie is that this movie is called Godzilla X Kong. And Kong feels like the main character, kind of like uh, he did in Godzilla vs. Kong. 
uh, you can tell that this was definitely a Godzilla, uh, this is definitely a Kong, sorry, a Kong focused movie. And if you felt that way for Godzilla versus Kong, you're definitely going to feel that way about Godzilla X Kong. This is a very Kong focused movie. Um, but Godzilla is kind of in the background for the first two, two thirds. Um, but by the last third, Godzilla is front and center again. And I don't necessarily blame the writers that much for not utilizing Godzilla as well as they could have, because what do you do with Godzilla? He's kind of like Superman in this universe. He, there's barely anything that can touch him. So what are you going to do? So they focus more on Kong. He's the more relatable of the two anyway. He has the more more facial expressions and he's closer connected to humanity. Uh, but if you're a big Godzilla fan, and there's lots of big Godzilla fans here, you're going to be waiting around a lot, waiting for Godzilla to fully enter the story, which doesn't happen until I would say maybe, you know, when there's 30 minutes left in the movie. Uh, but once he does, he runs in like gangbusters. So... Um, it's it's a good time once Godzilla shows up. So yeah, that's basically it for me. It's a it's a good time uh, if you want higher art or more of a thinking man's movie. Uh, this is definitely not the movie for you. Um, again, Dune is still in theaters. You can go watch that if that's what you need. Uh, but if you're just in the in the mood for a, a Fast and Furious type of movie where you can just check your brain at the door and just watch fun adventure stuff in the jungle and big monsters and awesome things punching each other on the screen then this movie has that for you and it will definitely scratch that itch that you have so if that sounds interesting to you godzilla x kong the new empire in theaters right now and you can go ahead and check it out